got out there and it just it got right close while I said, oh no. <laughs> Yeah, oh. we're, I'm, I'm doing body English. You're like drifting. Like, yeah, I, get over. No, I, trust me, I was doing body English, but the rear steer wouldn't allow me to move it over. So Keith, I, how do you feel, man? How do you feel? Come oh, on. I feel good. 93 at 179 mile an hour. What does that tell you? Awesome run. Awesome run, guys. Gotta awesome. Ride. So, talk a little bit about the PDRA. I mean, it's uh, from my experience, man, what a great family organization. <coughs> Extremely well run. It's like, a, I mean, this is, this, is a, this is an amazing event for me. Uh, walking in from the outside, I mean, I'm. This is an NHRA event for me. You know what I mean? This is crazy how big it's become. Uh, this is the inaugural season. Uh, you have one of their events on, at your Tulsa Raceway Park. I mean, this is crazy. Talk about it. Well, uh, of course, it started uh, a year ago. You know, uh, we had talked to Roger Henson and all the guys, and we thought about doing something. They ended up doing it, which I was perfectly good with that. I thought it was great. You know. Um, we back them 100%. They asked us, would you have a race in Tulsa? We said, absolutely, you know, come. Uh, they were a little, they were real skeptical. Um, I know that uh, Henson had to, he had to do some, uh, I guess you'd say persuading um, the guys to believe in Tulsa because they'd never been to anything on the Midwest. So um, we had, they could, they'd had their races. They had five races before ours. They come to ours, and obviously ours, by everybody that watched it online and everywhere, all know that it's the best race of the whole year. It will be the best race of the year. I know Virginia's had a, had a good race early in the year. Should have a great race this weekend. But in Tulsa, we had almost 35,000 people for the day. Uh, it was, they were everywhere. We had the American flag, we were throwing frisbees. We were, we were doing it because and uh, like I told the guys, uh, the, the guys that run the PDRA, it's all about how your fans feel while they're sitting there. And when that downtime is happening in between an oil down or whatever, the track's got to get involved, and the and the the, the PDRA's got to get involved. And you know, I hired Big Don. They added Big Don to their deal. Big Don's one of the best guys in the world. I told him that he's great. He can get the crowd. He can talk to them, and you keep them interacting. And if you do that. It will be a success, but you have to. You already got the cars. You got the cars. Why? Because you're a great sanctioning body. So you got the cars. Now you need to take it that to the next level and go to the fans. Now, in the defense of the PDRA is they can't do anything to a track that doesn't want to do anything. They can't help if the track doesn't want to do anything. So what happens with most track owners is they say, well, it's a no-lose situation for me. I'm not going to spend any extra money and take a chance of losing anything. Well, like in Tulsa, we all stepped up to the plate. And here you are now, man. It's just, uh, this is this is the big time, man. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm just so excited. I'm going to be following intently. Uh, man, I'll be watching you on Motormania TV every chance I get. I'll be following uh, PDRA660.com and, uh, you know, keeping track of you, man. Because my favorite right now, who do you think my favorite is? Lizzie Muse, you know, She's awesome. and uh, you know I'm following her, and uh, the reason why is, um, you know what, uh, great young lady, she can drive, and uh, you know my first PDRA race uh, was last BMP, and uh, she won Pro Nitrous, and now you're going to be competing against her, and uh, man, you know what, I, though? she's a good kid. She's I great, say, great I young mean, lady. Uh, uh, great I don't for the say sport. I don't say she's a kid. She, and she is. You know, I'm, a little older than she is, so uh, I can say that. <laughs> but she uh, she is good for it. Just like last year, you know, had Eric Andrews drive for me last year. Uh, she's look at her now. Look, at, she's just absolutely a shining star. I went and spent some time with them in St. Louis. Uh, it was uh, Richie's birthday, and I flew in to get my new car. I went over to the race and hung out with them for a little bit. Great. You talk about good people. People don't really know. Just like Eric, they don't know her. She is absolutely an amazing person, and so is Richie. Both of them together are good. And Lindsay, I've talked to her probably a hundred times, and her sister, and Pat's a good guy, you know. Uh, so I think it's all good for the sport. And everything that we can do to draw awareness to the sport, whether it's her, whether it's me, whether it's Stokens, or whether it's Frankie Taylor, it doesn't matter who it is.
racers and, and the junior program, you watch all them kids are all going to come up and it's going to be great. But to follow me, if, you know, we have a little over 26,000 people that follow me on Twitter. So you can, you, we have a big Twitter account, so everything that goes on Facebook, we have a little over, I have a 19,800 followers on Keith Haney Racing on Facebook and a little over six or seven or five thousand people on my personal. So there's a lot of ways to get a hold of us. We have an Instagram, Keith K Haney Racing, got a little over two or three thousand people. We just started the Instagram side of it. Um, I don't do Snapchat, so don't get me to do that. that now my daughters can tell you all about Snapchat, but I can't tell you that. What the hell am I going to snap? Hey, hey, what's up? <laughs> uh, I like to do more of the motivational side of it. You know, i got 400 employees that, uh, throughout the organization, and uh, I have some great partners there at, at all my dealerships, too. i got one that's 73 years old that we've been a partner together for in every one of the, organiz every one of the stores for 30 years. You know, I've got a, a lot of people don't know my whole story. But I started as a detail boy at a car lot, and uh, my dad died at 48, and I have uh, three mentally retarded sisters, and and uh, my mother, and I still take care of them all today. But I had, we had nothing, so I look at every day to, to be positive. And, I mean, why not look at it that way? We got a lot of action coming on tonight, all day here at Tulsa Raceway Park.